What's up guys, Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am really excited to get you the review of the new Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Elita 1. I know that this is a questionable release but after handling the figure thoroughly, I think that they have a solid reason of releasing this figure. So why is that? Let's find out. So here we have Elita 1 and this must be her like her in some G1 adaptations. I know that she appears in G1 already but like this is a modern takeout for the G1 design. Because for this bulkiness, this reminds me of the Elita that appears in the um, Titan Returns or the uh, Headmaster lines. Unlike the Wolf of Cybertron trilogy Elita 1 which in fact is a very slick transformer because this is based on like a more female design. This here is much more like a robot than a female character. So the choice is yours to decide what you like. Me personally, I would still prefer the Elita one because I like her scaling. I don't think that I would like her to be too bulky. So here we have Elita one and yeah, from this angle here, I think that she got a really nice face sculpt. You got that really female looking face with pink lips white face and blue eyes which is really nice that is like really female and you still got her two horns poking up that is white and then this is pink and the only thing that painted here is her forehead is this like a sensor or something overall i enjoy the face i wish the overall helmet or the head could be a little bit smaller slimmer that would be better for my taste but overall, I feel that this is still an okay figure. Now moving on to her torso, and I must say this is where Hasbro actually nails it. Look at the promo image. I thought that this would be a really thick mod, but they still managed to give her some waist, which is really nice. It makes her slim, kind of slim, and that just overall, the overall feeling is really, really, really good. It has the same energy, the same feelings as the Wolf of Cybertron Elita. And one thing I must compliment Hasbro for is that actually the whole body, sec the whole torso sec section and the head section are white. They actually paint all the colors here. I got a little bit of paint trip here, but that should be okay to me. You got red paint, you got pink, and you got like some magenta colors over here, which is really nice. The waist also white and got painted in the front section. But it does make me feel weird. Now it makes me feel like she's wearing some underwear, you know. The arm section would be my least favorite of this figure because like as I have described, you have a really nice and rounded torso section, but the arm is just like too square for my taste. So like it's just kind of blocky and it's just overall looking out of place to me. But other than that, I have no complaint. This is a deluxe class and I cannot ask too much since she is not a shell formers. I can tell you that. So that should be still be okay in some degrees. Moving down finally to the leg, you got a really nice thigh and some thick and chunky robot leg. Uh, I guess it's the same problem with the arms. It is way too thick compared to my last experience with the characters, which is the Wolf of Cybertron Elita one. But I mean, I cannot complain too much about it. And she still got some hollow part. Uh, that just eh uh, to me. And now for the finally for the backpack, she got a quite a big backpack, which is not a surprise for this figure. But one thing is this weird, this section over here. You see, this is like the instruction and everything say that it points upward. But me personally, I wouldn't want that because that's just look kind of blanky to me. So what I would actually do is that you got this joint over here. So I'm going to bend it like this. It may thicken the shoulders a little bit, but Actually, I would prefer her this way. It looked more neat and I think overall it, she looks better. Accessories wise, Alita 1 came with two blaster in clear blue, obviously for the combining purpose of the legacy line weapon. So they are, they are not, the, the one thing that surprised me, oh, so, sorry, Alita. One thing that surprised me is that they are not the same. They are two different guns, which is really interesting. And the, well, the bigger one got some, uh, taps, so some, um, uh, joint over. Got some joint on two sides, so it's actually the combining one. While the smaller one is only have holes in there. So yeah, to attach them, you simply just gotta plug it onto her hands, like that, and that is decent enough. And the one thing you can do is like combine them, and this is quite nice since the other one is smaller. So you can just tap it in like this, and yeah, it is quite interesting. I would prefer this weapon combination instead of like drag strip because like he got the two same exactly gun but she got different gun so i i like the choice 
Of course, you can weapons. You got some weapon storage, and that is these two holes onto onto the sides of this. So actually, like one one more reason that I think that you should bend this down is because it actually makes the weapon storage looks better. You can have it out like this, and it actually looks quite neat. I enjoy this feature here because like if I want to try to point it back into the 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 uh, brand instruction. So you can see here, this is kind of blanky and it does not have any volumes at all. You just like bunch of like piece of plastic stick together. But while if you lower that armor down and you still got that feel like she got some shoulder armors and the guns are pointed like in the backpack, which is, I think it's better. I think it actually looks better this way. For the articulation, we begins with the head. She cannot look up and down really much <laughs> because of her head. Of course, she can do a 360. This is the arm moves out. This is the rotation of the shoulders. Yeah, of course, it's going to be blocked by this backpack over here and this tap downside. So that is quite bad. You got a bicep swivel, elbow bend, 90 degrees, and you got a uh, hand swivel here. Down to the waist, you got a full waist swivel, which is nice and decent. And I like the way they manage this waist swivel. It just, it, it looks natural to me. This is a kick to the front, kick to the back, which is good. This is a split. You got a biceps, uh, you got a thigh swivel, limited thigh, thigh swivel, not too much. This is the knee band. And you got just some pivot, which is quite kind of tight. So I mean, articulation wise, right, this girl is decent. I like her and I like her more than I thought I would be. So yeah, not too much to complain about this bot. The one thing to complain about will be the next thing you complain about will be in the vehicle mode. So now for size comparison, I'm just, I'm just going to bring in the Wolf of Cybertron Elita 1. So here are the two Elita ones, and as, as you can see, the Wolf of Cybertron is clearly better looking than this legacy version right here. She's slicker, more female, and not talking about any sexualism over here, but like the Wolf of Cybertron one clearly does look better than the legacy one. That is not like because I like the way the, they sexualize the toys, but like it this is a better design. So that should be it, and now let's move to the transformation. So I guess this is why I don't like Elita 1. This version of Elita 1, I think the car looks ridiculous. The color scheme is ridiculous. And you know, I hate the way that they put the front light white. Just to make this look a lot of like a stupid cartoon car. There's anything nice of this mode, except for the paint, which I will come out later. But then we got the clear driving section, which is pretty cool. You got all white here, and unfortunately, we cannot recreate any seats or anything except looking at Elita's underwear. And the other thing I like is that for the feet, if you turn it around, you see these holes here, they look like thrusters. So, with the various effect parts you got from like Skylings and like Omega Supreme or whatever, I mean, you can fuck it and recreate some like booster effect, which is really cool. The, in this mode here, you does carry a lot of paint, so do be careful transforming, especially the front section here. All these are painted, so be careful for paint tripping. And one more reason that I don't like this mode because, like, they try to recreate the part of Elita's head up front here, but then why they don't do that from the beginning? I, in my guess, is that this mode, this mode here, will be using for some different transformer. And they thought, yeah, this could be Elita, so let's plug, let's make this part and plug it in. Me personally, if I'm gonna display this car, I'm gonna remove this because I think that looks stupid. I would rather attach some guns on to the top, like normal transformer i think that should be better than that horn looking that is so weird to me and i don't like it at all for weapon storage you see you see more holes in here so that one over here 
there are two set of holes on both sides so yeah you can plug it like that or if you want you can plug it on, onto the front section like that or you can do it onto the middle section like that i mean you can whatever you want to store whatever you want to store it and for some final comparison i'm going to bring in the wolf or cybertron elita so here we are with the two elitas and obviously the, the uh, elita one of wolf cybertron and rc is like that is the exactly mode for the g1 characters but this guy here i think that this is a mode for different some different characters and they're just gonna use it anyway because you know if you desperately need an elita toys catch up with the dead because obviously the uh war for cybertron elita is illimited so a lot of you might not have this one so yeah if you're desperate so should you get this one if you desperately need an elita one to fill up your trust your autobot ranks if not to skip it i think that this mode will be used for something better later so that should be it for today guys tell me what you think of this elita one in the comment section below so have a nice day Ton -ton out.